we are continuing our push through the woodland forest to see what we can find and what we can get ourselves into thank you so much for joining me i do appreciate it welcome back we have dropped already into another battle here a uh, swarmy is coming up in the last episode we were able to pick up a potent swarmy that switched out ours so this should not be too much of a trouble of a battle here we also got a, a slither pin in the last episode which is great i love the slither pin maybe my favorite cormon here so far in the ones that we can catch again we'll get him knocked out i believe here but yeah that swarmy took a little too much damage unfortunately but that's all right we definitely have more that we can go through and we can have him at the beginning to help out like we have done before a, a slither pin appears there is one more cormon somewhere in here one more type that we hmm i'm trying to figure out what i want to do here ah shoot he is level eight which is definitely going to be difficult let's go ahead and throw our taruga up and see he is our starter and i kind of want <laughs> the pattern bit was able to get up ahead but i kind of want my taruga to be my leading cormon i want him to be the one that is always has the first one to get the next level the first one to get the evolutions and that kind of stuff so i really want to kind of push him here to see if we can get a little bit more out of taruga i would like to see his forms there's so much of this game even in the demo that i have not seen i have not seen a lot of the taruga's evolutions a lot of the other ones actually i'm not sure in any of my playthroughs if my starter has made it all the way through i have either replaced the starter in my normal playthrough or they've got knocked out in my difficult or insane play playthrough so that's definitely not really a good thing oh yeah we got venomous bees there that swarmy is going to be a lot more effective now with that poisonous bees but he is level eight i really could use someone else up here a level three let's see if we can get this level three out of here hopefully it'll be very effective he's going to go out isn't he oh no okay we got that one hopefully it dies very effective claw is he gonna get knocked out wow that was a close one here we're gonna pull in this silk will i think he's gonna be able to do really good against this tag team a double silk will is really bad because if they both have the fast attack it really can be devastating you get those two fast attacks right off and you can't do anything about it so that's not a good thing although the poison sting is very effective i want to use drain so that we can get a little bit of our laugh like life back our laugh back we'll get our laughs back here man we'll get a little bit of our lives back but i don't think ah, shoot not enough here i don't think we're gonna have to switch out i don't think we're able to pull out enough here to really do a lot let's see what our mofo can do here hopefully as a level eight he'll be able to do all right this is where you get a little bit of trouble here and do a little bit of grinding when you pull in these core mods that you picked up in the area it's a little bit harder to get through and get back up to a time in a playthrough in which you can be effective again the highest level in this area i think i've seen was a level eight slither pin so we're not quite at that level across the board that's going to be really helpful here so we've got a lot of little bit of experience push there 
but not a very helpful here let's see our swarmy is level eight so we're gonna switch him out to with the uh, slither pin we still have our armado and our pattern bit that's full health so we're gonna push a little bit here i don't want quite to go up and fight this trainer because i don't feel that we are quite ready for that i really am a little worried here about what damage we can do to him he's probably going to have something in the lines of an eight or a ten so we've definitely got to be careful there now do i want to switch out my taruga and possibly do two switches hmm, i really wish i knew what would oh well electric is good against normal types let's go ahead and Let's just go my Armado, I think would be the best bet here. I'd rather have it switch the experience be divided between two Cormon than three Cormon. And with his defense so high, he's probably not going to get hurt extremely badly here. But we'll see. Let, let's just see how well this goes here. Well, we're, yeah, we're not doing too bad here, but we're going to have to go back and get healed for sure. And you want to go back and get healed before you're in a, like a detrimental state here. You really want to head back when you have a little bit left, because if you don't, what will be, you'll get, as you go back through the grass, there's a possibility you run into another encounter and then you're going to be even worse off with some of your Cormon maybe fainted. And then you hit another one and you're even worse off. So I would head back in a time where you at least have one good, at the very least, one good Cormon still healthy. So that if you get hit on some of those encounters when you are coming back through it's going to be a lot easier of a time. And that's also, I've used a lot of my HP cakes running back to get health because I didn't want someone, something knocked out or something to that effect. You just, you've not so big of a deal in normal difficulty, but in hard or insane, it really is a big problem. You really don't want to lose those Cormons so you heal them and it can be quite a bit of problem especially if you're trying to go back to get healed and you're using all your HP cakes to do that let's see if we can we're gonna do a poison sting here because I haven't done any damage yet so no reason to use the drain I mean it's not that the drain is less effective when you're at full health it's just there's no secondary advantage on it if you are at full health so let's go ahead and use the drain now which is nice the poison and the drain are both ranged attack it appears so that he's not touching the electric body of the buzzlet which is very useful so he went through this battle and he is now back up to full health and that's that's the wonders of the slither pen to be honest with you he really can go up in a way very easy because of that healing effect that drain especially if you kind of have him on the run there where it was using toughen up and i was just kept hitting it and a good thing another good thing what you could do is take the first two rounds and do poison sting so that you have it poisoned and then use your drain to get your health back so you're doing the little lesser damage of the drain but that poison effect is really helping out over the turns as well see now he's poisoned he might hit me here and then now i go over to the drain and between the drain and the poison effect 
we're probably going to put him out very easily i'm going to get up the slither pin probably extremely easy here so in the two battles that we went through with the slither pin he's only down two health that is extremely effective <laughs> We might actually walk around and see what we could do on that other trainer here, depending on how well this uh, slither pin goes. We're going to hit him with another poison effect. I could use the drain there because I was down a little bit. It would be helpful, would, would have worked, but yeah, see now I don't have that upper hand here. And I'm not going to be doing as much damage because it's the same level as me, but it's a little bit and that little bit matters here. So he's using fire strike and we'll drain a little bit more. He'll hit me again. This just, it goes back and forth like this. If I can get, oh, we're out of, ah, oh, no, we're out of SP. See that SP can go away very quickly if you're not careful. So. My Slither Pin either needs to take a rest now or get healed. So some of his potential, let's do, definitely do straight like that, I believe with the Slither. You know, no, 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 you know what we wanna do with the Slither Pin? We wanna move his SP up as much as possible because as you just saw there, it goes rather quickly. We could, he's low. And another thing, I could, if I healed him up, healed the uh, slither pin up, and then used, he's actually, both sides are protected by grass. I didn't realize that. You can have the slither pin rest that for his first round to get some of that SP back, and then use the drain on him afterwards so that you can get that health back from that first attack and still have a little sp okay scarbone is a level eight we are going to switch out here with my i don't know i yeah level eight let's see what the swarmy could do i don't expect him to be able to do a lot but if we can put a couple of poisons on here i would be happy i really don't know how much damage he's that's a lot of damage there let's see what we could do with the poisonous bees if i can get a couple hits on this poisonous bees i would be happy but that chomp did a lot of damage i don't think i could take another hit there it's def it's doing eight damage there let's see what my baffle can do I don't know what type Scarbone is, and we're just gonna go through all my core mine. I know right here, this is the way it's gonna go. This is the end. Oh, there we go. Not very effective. That's awesome. And the poison sunk in. Sweet. Oh, that's not gonna be very effective either. Wow, I don't know what he is, the Scarbone. Hmm. Oh, it must be a sand type if he's using sand on me. Oh no, I fell asleep. Again, I can be asleep because the poison is doing the damage for me. So as long as he's not directly hurting me, that's fine. Epiphany, what does that do? Does he... Attack increases, but he's still... Oh, attack and defense increases. Another two points off for that. Poison is going to be very helpful in the long run. And my Muffle's still asleep. Oh, gosh. Come on, we can do this. Not very effective. We'll just take seven rounds out of here. <laughs> Six more rounds. I know I have him. Are you woke up? Yeah, there we go. Good job, Muffle. That attack in defense really hurts, though. If his attack increases, that means it's increased twice. That means he's going to do more damage than he done the previous ones but he's gonna have to rest here if he's not careful yep that's what i was thinking his sp is low he used a lot of those buffs and debuffs that's another reason why i don't there's the poison knocked him out he saved me another round there you go that's another reason why i do not use the buffs and debuffs is because if i'm using skill points i want to hit 
I don't want to waste all my skill points debuffing him and then I'm in trouble because I have none to actually do damage to the enemy it really doesn't help me any so let's just go he has a lot of HP I think um shoot yeah I guess that let's see what that does you could also see when they go up with each level you can see what they get if I if anything goes up a level here I'll show you I usually jump right past it but I will show you uh, I'm not sure how much damage he did that I'll show you it tells you what it's stats were before and then what increased and its stats after let's see what we got yeah everything's hurt just a little bit let's go ahead and do our taruga here and finish this silk off i just don't want to worry about getting that ko here so we'll shoot let's go yeah we want cinder should finish him off fairly easily so what you could do is you could see what naturally goes up a lot each level and then kind of buff the other stuff if you wanted to i defeated lance yeah boy look at that we're making some progress here we're gonna have to run back through here hopefully maybe squeeze through here i'm gonna go ahead how did i it was a long hold wasn't it there i'm gonna go ahead and switch to this stink module you have no coin with the bindable trait i'm not sure i want oh there we go i just had to switch it i didn't try to bind so what would happen in this so if i'm a little hurt and i'm up in this area and i don't want any more attacks i use oh this is bad this is really bad okay a four and a five we might be able to make it through here let's go ahead and do my taruga which is gonna get yeah i think we'll be okay here with the armado and the patter bit we should be okay but this is gonna be a hard battle here the two fast attacks like i said can be very devastating or one hits and one debuffs which is also a bad thing as well always go for the lower Coromon. you want one of them knocked out if you can get one of them knocked out you're on a even playing field again so you always want to knock out that first Coromon if you can it's going to make it a lot easier to go on you think maybe i should hit the harder hitting one the one that's a higher level he's hitting me harder maybe i should knock him out first but i really recommend knocking out that lower one so that there's that person is not hitting you anymore and you will definitely lose less health that way let's go ahead and do a slam because i know he's going to take off that four hit points but the stink module here what it does is if i'm a little worried i'm kind of hurt here i could use that stink module and it basically this whole grass area now is effective and i will not get any more random encounters in that grass module or in that grass in that specific grass area and that's only that one for the amount of time as you can see up there so you could actually even use that to get around people if you wanted to poke in an area if you wanted to get up to a new area without going through the grass you could poke in the area have that stinky module go off and then you could go back up and through that area for a i think it lasts for five minutes so it could be very helpful here and let's say i was wanting to fight that trainer there what you would do is i could like i'm now i say i want to go to fight that trainer we'll go into this really long grass area just peek our nose in there just go in one step like that let off the stinky module then you could run up without getting into several random encounters weakening all your hormone before you get to a fight 
the trainer, you can skip through that and just fight the trainer and with all your strong core mon. But it, it only lasts for a little bit. Once you leave the screen, obviously it doesn't work anymore, but you can only use it, I think every five minutes. So you've got to be careful and strategic how you use it. Wow, that was very helpful, very effective. Oh, and he got, oh. I wonder, I always thought that was a little weird that the poisonous things get hurt by poison. Why would poison be very effective against poisonous things? But there's a lot of different types of poison too. I'm gonna go ahead and try to just slam him. But just because you're poisonous doesn't mean that you'll survive a bite from something else that's poisonous. So it makes sense, but it also throws me off a little bit. There you go. So you can see the stats increase. His SP went up one, his HP went up two. So you could say, well, his SP went, well, his HP went up too. So I'm not gonna boost HP anymore because it appears it's going up a lot. Now, if you want really high HP, you could do that. But also you could look at that and say, his HP is going up to every level up. So I am going to start doing something else. I am gonna start putting my skill points into something else. Each Coromon, I believe, have a different set of stats, which gets increased. Two Swarmies, man, I'm seeing double now. I do believe I'm gonna switch. Let's go with our uh, Slither Pin here. We'll get the Slither Pin leveled up. I need to get that Taruga up as well, too, to be him my kind of leader of the pack here. We'll say it shouldn't be too much of a trouble here and the good thing about that is i could right off go in and do a drain on this swarmy so that i get that health back i don't think i'm going to do 10 points of damage pretty close there yep i got five hp back look at that that was kind of nice here we're gonna probably end up somewhere pretty close to the our full hp here which is gonna be nice okay as long as he does something here would be really nice <laughs> okay we have what do i want to do and one of the things like i can see here the drain does three and the poison sting does one so you can see right there that you're gonna be running through your sp a lot faster doing it that way so you kind of gotta just watch it keep an eye on that sp and hopefully be able to mitigate as much damage as you can but we're yeah we're almost back up to full health that's very good i wasn't even paying attention to what he switched up to i was kind of wanted to look through them there at least a little bit so our slither pin is now leather leather level 10 so let's go ahead and just switch him with our muffle i haven't looked at the have i solved their traits i don't think i have he has no traits muffle has no traits physical skills hit the right spot increasing a critical hit damage by 50 percent that's cool that's really good he's immune to critical hits that's to, he's immune to poison Padabit has no special traits okay not too bad i have a couple very good ones there that will very much help us out in the long run and look it looks like we got into a couple big battles there and we are in a i'm trying to think how this is going he is going to let's go for it i don't i think i'm gonna lose this he only did five points of damage there he did not as much as that let's try it again he didn't knock a whole lot off of me there's the level difference here which is working into my advantage he's doing four points of damage to me each turn 
Now, if he does a crit here, I'm knocked out, which is something you got to be careful with. And if I make it, he's going to be poisoned and voila. Woo, that's a close one. Yeah, the three hit points don't really want to be down that low. There again, you can see the HP went up two levels there. Maybe it's not a good thing to put a bunch of HP into Swarmy, but you can make him a big meaty guy too as well. And that's something that you can do if that's what you would like to do, how you would do it. Okay, we are almost all leveled up to our 10, which is kind of what we wanted to get and push further into the Woodlow Forest. We just got to see if we can get this last one Moffle up into a level 10. He probably is pretty close. Wow, that was devastating. I did not expect it to do so much damage there. Critical hit on me. Sandball is going to knock him out. A level seven should give me a good bit of experience. Another one probably, it would depend on what it is and how well we get through it. Let's see if we can get one more battle in before we end the episode here. Hopefully getting our, now that, no, that's not gonna do it there. The Moffle is not gonna, yeah, the Moffle's not gonna survive this battle, but let's get a throw in there, at least a one hit. Why did he use Drain right there? That doesn't make much sense, but as I played through this, I've noticed, yeah, well, that was not a good decision there on their part. I've seen it. They've had me down to one hit point. I, you know, I wasn't paying attention sometimes down to one hit point and he uses rage and I'm like, what are you doing? Not rage, dude. You should have just hit me. But hey, it helps me out every once in a while. It's nice like that. So yeah, we got to battle this drain a little bit, but I think we're high enough level here that it's not going to be too big of a challenge. Although our Moffle did not get up to level 10 here. We'll have to wait until the next episode, I do believe. See here on the Taruga, his HP went up only one in that level. So I'm not sure what the stats is, if it changes per level or per Cormon, I don't know. Let's run back through here and see if we can get out of here. Do I want to go for another battle? I do not believe so. I think that's going to be our episode for today. We'll push further into the Woodlow Forest in the next episode. We got a few trainer battles here, so that is definitely cool. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you back. Thank you again, and bye, everybody.